Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizada with another tutorial from Tech for All. In this video, I will show you how you can install the Active Directory domain services and how you can configure a new domain controller in Windows Server 2022. Let's start. For the purpose of this video, I have created a virtual machine in Hyper-V. First of all, open the server manager. Click on the add rules and features. Click on the next button. From the menu, select role-based or feature-based installation and click on the next button. From the server pool, if you have multiple servers, select the server, but as I have only one server, so it is by default selected. Click on the next button. From the rules menu, select Active Directory Domain Services. A new Add Rules and Features wizard will pop up, which says that following tools are needed to install the Active Directory Domain Services. Click the Add Features button. Click the Next button. If you want to add some extra features such as .NET Framework 3.5, Client for NFAs, and so on, you can select it from here. But by default, the features that are needed for the Active Directory domain services will be automatically selected. Click on the Next button. Here it gives you some information about the Active Directory domain services. Click the Next button. In this page, you can see that which features and roles you have selected. After you have confirmed your selection, click on the Install button. It might take a few minutes until the Active Directory Domain Services rule is installed. You can also close this wizard page, click on the Close button, and you can see the progress in here in the Notification Center. As you can see, the Active Directory Domain Services rule is installed. Now you need to restart your server. Now that we have installed the Active Directory Domain Services rule, let's go to the second chapter of the video, which is configuring a domain controller. Click on the Notifications button and click on this option, Promote the server to a domain controller. The new configuration wizard will be open to you. In the deployment configuration, you have three options. Add a new domain controller to an existing domain. Add a new domain to an existing forest or add a new forest. As I don't have any other domain controller or any other forest, so I will create a new forest. I will name it Tech for All. Click on the next button. From the forest functional level and domain functional level, select the latest Windows Server from the menu. Windows Server 2016 is already selected. If you want to create a domain name system or DNS server, select this option. I don't want to create a DNS server, so I will uncheck this option. Provide a password for the Active Directory. When you provide a password for the Active Directory, you have to remember it because you will need this password whenever you want to restore the Active Directory domain services rules. Click on the Next button. Here you need to verify the NetBIOS of your domain controller. It has automatically detected the domain name. Click on the Next button. From here, you can change the path of the database folder, log files folder, and sysvol folder. As I am running a virtual machine, I won't change any of these options. But if you are in an enterprise environment, you need to change these folders. After you have changed the paths, click on the Next button. 
here you can review all your selections for me it's okay click on the next button now it will check for the prerequisites it has finished the prerequisite installation and now i can proceed to the installation point to be noted that if you click on the install button the server will automatically reboot at the end of this promotion operation it's okay click on the install button the installation might take a few minutes and it depends on the specification of your system After the server is restarted, log in with the administrator user. Now that the server has restarted, let's go to the third part of the video, which is confirmation of a new domain installation. Let's check whether a new domain is installed or not. Click on the Tools menu and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Here you can see that the domain Tech for All is successfully configured. And that's all for today. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe so that you can stay tuned with the future upcoming videos. I will catch you very soon with another video. Till then, have a nice time.